now let's go to curve sketching. Kanina, ang napapansin nyo lang kanina is that we're only talking about position time graph. But we can generalize our analysis for um, velocity time graph and acceleration time graph. Meron ka lang idadagdag. Um, so far, ang pinag-uusapan lang natin ay slope ng tangent line. But we can also determine the area under the curve of that line. I'll show you an example later. Uh, pag, pag may time pa. I believe may time pa naman. So, yan. So, for position time graph, the slope of the tangent line for the position time graph is velocity, whereas the area under the curve doesn't exist. Walang quantity na ganun. So, however, for velocity time, this is more interesting. If you want to determine the slope of the tangent line of the velocity time graph, you'll get acceleration. But if you want to determine the position of the, of the particle in the velocity time graph, you need to determine the area under the curve of that curve, of that, um, of that graph. Now, for the acceleration time graph, there is a slope of a tangent line. Di naman sa wala, pero hindi natin, hindi natin masyadong, hindi importante sa atin yun. Okay? But um, if the acceleration time graph is given, we can determine, in principle, the velocity or the VT graph from the AT graph using the area under the curve of the AT graph. Okay? Questions? May tanong dito? So the point here is the techniques that we are using for the past um, two to three slides can be generalized into a VT graph or an AT graph by just using this table. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? May tanong ba rito? Okay? Sige. May tanong ba? Now, let's go to some problem solving guide. Kasi maraming students ang nalilito sa curve sketching. Dapat, siguro napapansin nyo na yun. Ano rin ang pinag-sabihin nito ni Sir? <laughs> Maganda kung kayo rin i-practice nyo siya. Pero basically, um, when you curve sketch, ganito lang yung ginagawa dyan. The first thing that you need to do is to divide, let's say, a position time graph. So usually, position time yung binibigay. Pero minsan, velocity time is also given. Let's say you have a position time graph. For a position time graph, the first thing that you need to do is to divide the, the position time graph into regions that have some uniformity in the slope. Uniformity in slope or uniformity in concavity. What? Kung ano man yun. You divide yung muna yung regions and then study each region. If the slope positive or negative, then for the position time graph, x graph lang to ha. If the slope is positive or negative, then the velocity is positive or negative at that region. And then after that, check the constancy of the slope. Linya ba yan na pataas? Linya ba yan na pababa? Or curving upward ba siya? Or curving downward? If it's linear, if it's a line, then we expect that the velocity is positive or negative, but the acceleration is definitely zero. Zero yung acceleration yan, regardless. Kung linya pataas o linya pababa. But if it's curving upward, then we expect that the acceleration is positive. If it's curving downward, then the acceleration is negative. Okay? And then finally, repeat the process for the VT and the AT graph. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba rito? May tanong? Wala? Walang tanong? Wala? Okay. Okay, so again, let's have an example. So let's say we have a position time graph given, the, given, given by the following. So what we want is to determine or to plot the velocity time graph and the acceleration time graph of this given position time graph. So anong, again, anong unang gagawin? What's the first thing that you need to do? Actually, give, ginawa na to dito. What's the first thing you need to do? And the, what's the first thing that you need to do is to divide this graph into different regions. Tapos analyze isa isa. So that's what we will be doing. So here, let us divide this into the following. Hinati ko muna yan. Hatiin muna natin. And then study each region. What can we say about, let's say for example, at point A, at this, at this region, from time t equals 0 to time t equals 5, what can we say about the velocity and the acceleration of that curve? Ano masasabi natin sa acceleration niya? Positive. Positive. The acceleration, uh, the velocity is positive. Why? Kasi? Pataas po yung slope. Yes, pataas yung slope. Positive yung slope. However, the question is, mas nagiging steep ba yung slope habang luwaakyat? O mas nagiging flat? Yes, mas nagiging steep. Therefore, at this region, the velocity is increasing and positive. 
what about at from 5 to 10 to 15 um, seconds what can we say about the the velocity ano masasabi natin sa velocity it is also positive but is it constant or changing Constant. constant, sir. Yes, constant. So this is constant, positive. What about from 15 to 25? What can we say about the velocity of the particle? From 15 to 20 muna pala. 15 to 20. What can we say about the velocity of this, of this particle? Ano mo sasabi natin? Still positive. Positive pa rin, pero is the, um, is, the, is the velocity increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. Yes, decreasing. So, papansin mo, no? Mula sa pagka-steep, bumababa, nagiging flat, and nagiging flat yung object until such time na umakit siya sa 20. What can you say about at t, about the velocity at t equals 20? Ano nang nangyari? At t equals 20, flat Zero. line na yung velocity. Therefore, the velocity vanishes. Zero. Zero na yan. And then, so, mula pa positive, nag-flat, 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 nag-zero. And then after zero, it becomes negative and it's increasing in magnitude until such time that it reaches 25 seconds where at 25 seconds huminto na yung pag-increase ng kanyang um ng kanyang velocity in the negative direction in that case constant negative na yan and then finally um bumalik ulit medyo na saging flat ng konti it's constant uh, increasing negative the word increasing and decreasing here in the in the um, 20 to 40 seconds refers to the actual value of the velocity, hindi yung steepness. Ang sinasabi ko uh, a few moments ago is the, the steepness of the graph. So decreasing negative siya because it becomes more um, steeper, therefore it becomes more negative in value. Um, increasing negative siya because it becomes less steeper, lumalapit siya sa zero, therefore it becomes more positive in value. Okay, now, what can we say now about the velocity? So I... Uh, so, alam na natin yung nature ng mga velocities na. So, we can plot the VT graph. So, ganito lang yan. So, we have the graph here. So, ganyan itsura niya. I have a velocity time graph. And initially, I have an increasing positive um, velocity. Therefore, what? how do you represent it in a graph? Paano mo siya i-represent? Ano siya? Increasing positive na velocity. So, we expect that the velocity is at the upper time. And ano mangyayari? What can we say about it? Guys? Positive po yung slope. Positive slope na paangat. Ganyan. And then dun sa pangalawa. Note here the continuous to, therefore we expect that the, since yung slope dito at yung slope dito ay parehas, this slope here and this slope here are the same, we expect that the um, mag-coconnect yung dalawang um, velocities na yan. Therefore, what can we say about the velocity from 5 to 15? It's constant positive. How would you represent it in a VT graph? So, positive for horizontal. Yes, it's positive horizontal. And it's connected to the, um, the velocity from 0 to 5. And then dun sa, pangat, sa 15 to 20. Now it's, con, uh, it's decreasing, but it's still positive until it reaches T equals 0. Therefore, pababa yan. Tapos, dire-dire-direcho yan. Paganyan. Okay? Clear ba bakit naging ganon? Because this is, the velocity is now decreasing until it reaches zero, tapos dumiretso pa siya. Until at equals 25, dumiretso siya, negative pa rin yan. And then, after that, constant, negative, it's still connected, ganyan siya. And then after that, ano na mangyari? Now, increasing negative, but it's still negative, but it goes towards zero, paganyan na siya. Okay, questions? May tanong dito? So, we're done with plotting the velocity time graph. What about the acceleration time graph? The acceleration time graph can be plotted accordingly. Parang ganun lang din yung gagawin mo. So, given that um, here, constant positive ang velocity, what can we say about the acceleration? Is it positive, zero, or negative? Positive. Positive. What about... Um, constant zero, what can you say about the acceleration? Of course, it's zero. So dito sa dalawang tong, region sa to, tsaka region na to, zero na yung acceleration dyan. Huwag ka na maglagay ng ibang acceleration dyan. For us, in this region, positive ang slope ng VT graph. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line for a VT graph is the acceleration. Positive yung magiging acceleration dyan. Similar to this. This has positive acceleration. And this has 
negative acceleration. And hence, when we plot that, okay, the AT graph, positive at this region, zero at this region, negative at this region, zero at this region, and positive at this region. Clear ba tayo doon? Clear ba? Yes, yes. Malinaw ba to? I hope this is clear. Okay, let me 